In this video, I'll be installing this product right here. It's from Melnor. It's their four zone Bluetooth water timer. This attaches to your outdoor water spigot and gives you four different zones for you to set up water timers for your garden. Everything is done inside an app on your smartphone. That information is then synced to the device so you can set your watering start times for your vegetable garden. So without further ado, let's get into this setup guide. So here we are inside the Melnor app. Uh, I've already named the device Backyard One, but what's interesting is you could also change the photo. And this really helps in case you have multiple units. And when you change the photo, there's two ways you can do it. You could use the camera, or you can go and use a previous photo that you already have stored in your gallery. In this case, I'm gonna take an original photo through the Melnor app of my device, of this Bluetooth 4Zone uh, water timer. So after I get the nice photo, it basically automatically changes inside the app. And again, it's something I highly recommend you do because it will help you keep track of all your different devices. Once you go inside, you can see that you have the four zones and kind of like photos that they already have. Again, you can change it and create your own photos. So I created one zone called left side and I have a picture of that sunflower, which I call Big Daddy. And then on the right side, I'm going to use another photo. This time it's going to be on the right side where I have three different sunflowers. I call this the triumvirate. If you know your Roman history, you'll know what that means. But uh, again, this is a really easy way to remember what zones that you have. After that, the next step is to basically set the water schedule. And what I've done over here is have it for seven days a week. I want the first zone on the left side to start at 5.30 in the morning. And then <clears throat> what I'm going to do is set it up so that it will water for five minutes every day at 5.30. Now I'm going to set another schedule for the evening time and have it turn on at 7.30 p.m. And once again, have it turn on for about five minutes. So twice a day, it will get water seven days a week. That might actually be a little bit too much watering. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, I might go ahead and, and reschedule that later, but I'm going to be out of town, so I want to make sure everything has water. So here you see everything has been set up. I'm just kind of looking inside of the app, making sure that everything is done with the watering day on the other zone, the right side. And in this case, because I had it on for five minutes, I'm going to turn this one on at 536. So there's a one minute interval between the one zone and the other, just so that it doesn't have to go back to back. I thought that was a smart thing to do. And then I also did that for the evening time as well. Instead of turning on at 735, I have scheduled it for 736 p.m. Again, for five minutes. And I'm gonna do this across my entire property because I have multiple zones everywhere. And this is just a great way to keep track and make sure no two zones are on at the same time or one's coming off and the next one's coming on. It gives you that one minute break uh, for everything. Now that we've set up a watering schedule inside the app, let's show how you can do manual watering with the push of a button. It does have these manual buttons. So I'll show you how that works right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this. And now valve 2 is on. If we follow this line, it goes all the way to this side. And you can see that it started off this irrigation system that I built and mounted against the fence. Now this goes all the way across. So I'll just give you an example over here. You can see I have a whole bunch of them everywhere. And the great thing about this is that it's adjustable. So you can't, if you want to tighten it up, just push it in. It's kind of hard for me to do right now. Got this gigantic sunflower growing here. This is a Russian mammoth sunflower. And it goes all across over here. This is some spinach that I am flowering because I want to collect the seeds because I can grow a whole bunch of this stuff with this uh, watering system. Pull this back, see how it looks. So that's zone two, which is this whole side over here. What I'll go ahead and do now is switch it up 
turn that off and then now we'll go ahead and start with zone three which is on this side and it starts right over here just give you a big look <clears throat> now what's cool about this system is you can then transplant plants exactly where the water lands this is the perfect system to uh, grow your own food but right now I am growing some more gigantic Russian mammoth sunflowers and now that everything is automated with timers that's been set on my smartphone and the ability to do some manual watering I'll know exactly where to plant all the future plants and so with this two system everything is going to uh, grow pretty much all year round until it starts to freeze all by this automated watering system so all I have to do now is grow from seed and then transplant exactly where the water lands and that my friends is how you grow your own food so let me know what you think of this setup uh, and what you think about this Melnor device that really powers this whole setup all done on Bluetooth is this something that you could use please let me know Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, signing out.